Well, today we were going to fish on Loch Rama, but it's too windy, so we've come here to this more sheltered lake. This is Lake Lacken, near to the town of Bally James Duff in County Cavan. Now, at the moment, we've used up 10 pounds of fish in our keep net, leaving us basically with 31 pounds left. And just for the statistic freaks among you, what we've done so far is caught 228 pounds of fish and we've traveled 197 miles. So it's been an epic journey. Here we're gonna be fishing for roach, for hybrids, possibly for bream. Mick's gonna try for some pike. And I've got a little trick up my sleeve later on, just in case things get desperate. Get up round there, you see. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Look at that, Matt, first cast. Little chap of about two pounds. That'll help us on the journey. Really taken that well. Great. Well, that's started to build up the mining straight away. Really pleased with that. Well, as usual today, Mick and I are going to be fishing as a team. He's decided to go all out for pike. It's an approach that works well for us. And you know, I've been resigned to Sir Michael's bait catcher. So I'm using a swim feeder. It's a fairly straightforward approach. I've got some silver X and brown crumb ground bait. It's worked very well for us so far. And some maggots. There's nothing complicated about that. I've got a 30 gram feeder on. And really the only problem I've got today is bite indication. There's a stiff wind blowing down the lake and it's making it a little bit difficult to tighten up to the quiver tip sometimes. But I've tried to overcome that by using a braided main line. Other than that, it's fairly straightforward, and if I catch enough fish, of course I'll keep some in the keep net. Right. Well, I've been through the swim with a spinner, which is an easy way of picking up the pike that will just take anything. And I've only got the one fish. So I'm trying something a little bit more sophisticated now, something that might provoke some of the bigger fish to come up in the water. And what I'm using is called a jerk bait. It's a chunk of wood shaped like a fish, and it doesn't actually do anything on its own. You need the rod tip to make it move. And fish that perhaps don't really want to feed at the moment, sometimes it gets them to come up and strike at it. it really is an exciting method. It just bounces along under the waves and all of a sudden everything locks up when a pike comes up from the depths and grabs it. That's the theory. It only works if there's pike there, of course. We don't know anything about this lake yet. Well, plan A was a miserable failure. On his second cast, Sir Michael caught a nice pike, not a big one, but very valuable points for us. And then absolutely nothing. I caught diddly squat on the feeder, and it's got windier and windier and windier with no bites, and we've decided to move to plan B, which is this. Having decided after two hours, cunningly, that we'd got the use of a boat, we thought, why not go trolling for pike? It might save the day. So that's exactly what we're doing now. A lot of people think about trolling as a lazy man's way of fishing, and it can be if you just simply sling out a lure behind the boat and tootle along without a care in the world. Trollers tend to select lures to work certain depth contours depending on the conditions. If it's cold, for example, the fish might be deep. If it's warm weather, you might judge that they're in shallower water. It's about selecting the right lures to run at the depth that you need them to. And it's about working with an echo sounder to work the right contours of depth for the lures that you're using. A good boatman will keep the boat on the right course, steer it round obstacles, work structure effectively, and keep that boat working in prime position all the time. And the sign of a good troller, in my opinion, is a guy who's busy. The guy who's sitting there just holding the rod, looking at the scenery, is rarely a good troller. A good troller's adjusting his tackle all the time, getting the length of line right, making sure his lure is actually running at the right depth. And that takes, oh, yeah, I'm into one now, Matt. Well, as I was saying, I just looked on the echo sounder and we just shallowed up. So I just brought the lure in just to bring it higher in the water and sure enough, whack, straight into a pike. Brilliant. Well, Matt, look at that. <laughs> These little pike always make me laugh. <laughs> I don't know why. Come on. Well, he really wanted that. There we are. He's took that well in. 
cool with that. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it, man? Yeah, brilliant. Hang on, it's only just there. Well, Matt was talking about choosing the right lure. Well, we're told there's a lot of perch in here. So, as a starting point, we've used a lure that looks like a perch. That's as near to a perch as I can find. And, and it's worked straight away. So, after demonstrating a bit of good trolling, I think, <laughs> uh, we've added three pounds to the bag. What do you say about that, mate? Nice one. To one here, Mick. It's either that or I've got the bottom and I felt it move, so I don't think it is the bottom. It seems to have buried itself in something. Now, there's quite a lot of lily pads and stuff just down past where we trolled, and I think the fish may have dug itself in actually. Definitely a fish there. I'm expecting something enormous here, Matt. No, I don't think it's a yeah. especially big fish, but definitely a bite. Yeah, well, this lake hasn't got a reputation for huge fish, has it? No, it hasn't. If this was all pike, Mick, it would be very promising. <laughs> but sadly, it's not. It seems to be very badly stuck. Well, Mick, I've got a feeling that whatever was there might have gone now. Are you sure you're not playing an old fertiliser? <laughs> I probably am. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I saw your rod go, actually. I, I know that was a But I don't know what's happened now, whether it's just... Oh, it's come off. Oh, we needed that. Yeah. Ah, oh, never mind, mate. Oh, well, at least we're getting a bit of action, aren't we? Yeah. What was that on the... Oh, you've, you've put my little favourite uh, spinner yeah, on Yeah, I put it. a spinner on. I thought I might pick up a oh, perch, That was a know. crafty old move, wasn't it? Oh. Missed that one. Well, at first glance, of course, this may appear vaguely ridiculous, and of course it is, so stop laughing, Mick. But um, seriously, we've come up with a plan C because the trolling has only produced one pike, and when the going gets tough, the ridiculous get going. And that is why I have donned this belly boat, which is a special flotation device for accessing areas of the lake that we can't get to in the other boat, and I'm prepared to risk life and limb for the sake of this programme and for catching lots of fish while Sir Michael will be behind in the support vessel. So I'd like you all to wish me luck, bon voyage, and, well, you may never see me again. I think you've got to go in backwards. Obviously, a gentle slope helps. You're trying to push me in, Mick. You're not trying to help. You're on your own now, mate. Can you just hold on to my rod just for a minute? Will you stop tittering, Brown? This is a serious <laughs> part of the programme. <laughs> now, as you'll see, Sir M, I am actually quite comfortable in this thing, and all I've got to do now is attach these here. Armchair, aren't you? Another one here. Now, this is actually quite a useful thing because in here, Sir Michael, I've got a repair kit just in case I need it. And they've even included these nice handy fly patches on here, Sir So, in fact, I'm quite well prepared for a nice afternoon's fishing. Go on then, impress me. Well, I am, I'm going on. I am, look, I'm going away from you. We've all around the marginal shelf, we've trolled all the way around and we've only picked up one fish. It hasn't been very good really. But there are a lot of fish in this lake, we're told, and my suspicion is they're probably tucked away into the reed beds. Now, we're out in the big boat, casting surface lures into the reed stems and just making a bit of splash on the surface, hoping that any pike, as we're coming into the evening now, might be thinking of feeding and they might come up and take them. Matt's making a really silent approach with his belly boat and uh, he's just dropping a fly quietly in amongst the reed stems. I think they're both good approaches. Hopefully one will work and we can put more fish in the bag. In actual fact, it's quite good. I can uh, access parts of the lake that would be difficult to get into in the boat. It's not too bad to cast from. Of course, you haven't got to cast as far as you would normally because you can get closer to the cover without actually disturbing the fish. So I think it's great. 
it looks so fantastic. I just wouldn't have thought I could have failed here. I'm happy with the method and the tackle and the terrain. It, it all seems too good to be true, but uh, you know, we're passing through. We don't know the waters. We might not be in the best place. There's so many good looking swims on these lakes. All the pipe might be in a different area, but we definitely need to get a few more pounds now because it's not long before we need to be in Dublin and it's looking touch and go at the moment. Yeah. Any good, Matt? Absolutely nothing, Mick. I've worked my way down this reed line and tried to sort of get the fly in all the little gaps. It looks great, but yeah, I, I haven't mean, had a pull. Well, I've worked a surface lure in amongst the pads and around the stems, and I think I've worked it quite good, actually, but I can't get a pull either. What do you think it is? I don't know. I mean, all the lakes we're fishing this week, they look very good, but they don't seem to produce, do they? No. Maybe we just haven't got enough local knowledge and maybe we're not as good as we thought we were. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it, it looks perfect for pike, Mick. You know, you'd think they'd be here. I, I can't believe we're not catching them. Even little jacks, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's very strange. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I've got one on. <laughs> now you may titter at that, Sir Michael, and he might only weigh about a pound, but he's my pike and he's done me proud. And he's really swallowed my fly too. Look at that, the smallest pike in Ireland. <laughs> you never know, that might be the one that gets us on the ferry boy. And he's gone. <laughs> Well, as far as I'm concerned, that makes it 37 pounds of fish in the keep net. We've probably got around 60 miles to go to Dublin, so we're still short of our target. Tomorrow we're going to be fishing on Loch Rama, and let's just hope that the pike are a little bit bigger. Yeah.